Um, well, uh, I know it's been a while since we've updated the vlog, so sorry about that. Um, he, here's something before we talk about the scans, which were which were great today. The uh, some of the lessons that we've learned over um, the last ten months have been really surprising. Um, probably the one that I've thought most about um, recently, and, and then I think Lauren even blogged on it today, was the fact that um, anxiety isn't a I don't know if it's a war you win more than it's just a battle you fight. Um, I, I don't know. It, it just seems like anxiety is like Jason in Friday the 13th. I mean, he just keeps coming back. You can't seem to kill it. And so going into these scans, there there was some anxiety in Lauren and me, uh, even in some, some friends that I've had, or that I have. It's not that I've had. Oh, you've got doubt? Well, you can't be around me then. Um, the We had a little head cold go through our house. And so unfortunately with my history. Anytime you have a headache now, you're just like, oh gosh, here we go. I wonder, what the, I mean, I wonder what's going on, Lord. Okay. Um, and so I'd had a couple of headaches and even some weird headaches with kind of like some precision uh, pain. And um, and so, man, I was anxious going into this, trying to trust the Lord, trying to turn that over to the Lord. But it's surprising that, um, I, I guess before this, I probably knew it, but I know it all the more now. Like I thought you, you conquered anxiety. You just put your flag in the ground and you conquered it. And I just didn't know it would be as consistent of a battle as it's become and it as it is. Now, the, the cool thing is through it all, the Lord's been really faithful and there are just so many scriptures um, that that men speak uh, to, to your confidence in the Lord. And, and even just a little gift from the Lord this morning as I was up praying early and uh, started reading um, uh, Psalm 16 and Psalm 16, 8 and was just trying to start beginning to meditate on that verse and getting ready to go into the uh, MRI uh, tube and... Um, uh, as I was as I was reading that verse and thinking on that verse, I, I heard my computer beep, and and I looked over and uh, uh, Scott uh, from Scott Allen, who's on staff at the village and does a lot of uh, uh, technical stuff for us, um, had tweeted that verse uh, on his account. So I was just like, man, how gracious and good is our God that in something as small as that he would just say, I I know, I mean I know, and uh, that that always reminds me of a. I, I get some snarky comments every time I say this, but uh, Beth Moore in her book, So Long Insecurity, um, said he knows it's scary to be us. And and I've, man, I just love that line. It's in, And it's Hebrews. It's the book of Hebrews. That we have an empathetic high priest. Um, and so uh, it, it's been fun learning this lesson, as crazy as that sounds, just that God sustains you even as the anxiety tries to return and you have to fight it off wave by wave. And um Anyway, the scans were great. There's zero evidence of, re of recurrent tumor uh, as of this current scan. Um, and so I will start um, the next round of chemo on Monday. Uh, fly out tomorrow for Raleigh, North Carolina, where I'll be joining the Nine Marks guys and, and, and David Platt and some others to do um, the Healthy Church Conference there at uh, Southeastern uh, Theological Seminary. And then uh, we'll come back flying for Saturday. We'll start a new series at the Village on Authority. Uh, talk about the authority in the Godhead and then really the rebellion that's occurred between God's authority and, uh, and, and mankind. Um, and, and then we'll begin nine weeks of fleshing that out um, at the Village. Um, and then we'll start chemo on Monday night, do chemo Monday through Friday. Um, and then uh, try to heal up as best we can before uh, Lauren and I head out of the country for a bit. So thank you so much for your prayers. I uh, love you guys. You're so gracious to me. I'll just always feel in debt to uh, God and, and to you, uh, his bride, that uh, prays so faithfully for me and my family. So thank you. Uh, be blessed.